hello guys we have seen the concept of linked list in the last video using structure employee now let's implement the actual linked list for integers so for that i will write different classes like i will write node class i will write linked list class there will be main function so i will store my program in different files so first let me create one directory with name list in which i will store all my files so the mkdir list i will say first after that cd list so right now nothing is there in this directory so let me create a different files so i will create five different files one two three four five so i will write two classes one class will be node class and other class will be linked list class so there will be files like node.h and node.cpp for node class linked list.h will be there and linked list.cpp will be there for linked list class and one more file will be there which is main.cpp which will contain the main function that's i have that's why i have created five different files so let me save them in directory linked list or list so first file i will save as node.h then there will be node.cpp then linked list.h will be there for linked list class then linked list.cpp will be there and one more file will be there which is main.cpp which will contain the main function So these are the five different files which I have created. So they are here. Now, now how to write the classes? So first class that I will write will be node class. So node class is having one data part and other self-referential part which is next pointer. So data part will be integer in this case because I am implementing the linked list for integers. So I will say int data then there will be self referential pointer that means node asterisk it will be of same kind as that of class so node asterisk next will be the self referential pointer so which functions i will implement in node class now this data part and next part which is private of node class i need to access it outside the class so for that i will write getter and setter functions for data and next so i will write int get data then void set data set data will take one integer argument then get next will be there return type of get next will be node pointer and set next will be there which will set the next part argument to that will be node pointer so node class contains integer data and self referential pointer next and it it also contains the getter and setter functions for these two data members now the definitions of these member functions will go inside node.cpp so next file i will write is node.cpp in node.cpp i need to include node.h since i am writing the definitions of node class i need to include node.h no need to include anything else so i will write the definitions for getter and setter functions so int then class name is node scope solution get data definition will be single line definition return data then void node scope solution set data it is taking one argument which is say d so that argument i will assign to data so data equals to d then next will be get next so it will be having statement return next and last one will be set next so set next will set the next part to n next equals to n so this will become node.cpp 
now let me write the next file which is linklist.h in linklist.h i will declare the class linklist so class linklist will be there now for linklist class what will be the data member and what will be the member functions so if uh, uh, the, the, there is one pointer which will always point to the first node of linklist which is called as head pointer so that head pointer i will take as data member of linklist class and it will be pointer of node kind since i have already implemented this node class the head pointer will be of node kind so i will declare node asterisk head into the linklist class and in public part i will define the member functions i will declare the member functions so operations on linklist will become member functions so which are the operations on linklist adding node at the end adding node at the begin adding node at some intermediate position so those those operations will become member functions so here i will declare them so suppose i write first function which is add at end so now that add at end function takes one integer argument which is the data to be added then another function will be there which is add at begin which will add the node at the beginning of linked list that will also take one integer argument which is data to be added then add at position will be there add at say pos so it will take two arguments one is data to be added and the position of the data similarly you can write three remove functions remove uh, remove from end remove from begin and remove from position to delete particular node so let me write them one more function will be there which will display the linked list so that will be void display now here i need to include node.h file because i am making use of node pointer here so in linklist.h i will include node.h then definitions of these member functions will go inside linklist.cpp so as of now i am not writing the definitions in the main function i will write the main function in the main.cpp i will write the main function so here i will say int main return 0 here i will create the object of linked list class and i will call the different functions so linked list say l1 is object and then i will call l1 at l1 dot add at end l1 dot add at begin or any other function so in the main.cpp i have to include linked list dot h So this, this is how I will write the code in five different files. Node.h will be there which contains node class. Node.cpp will be there which contains the definition of node class, member function definitions of node class. Linklist.h will be there which is having linklist class. In linklist class head pointer I have declared. Linklist.cpp will contain the definitions for linklist class. And main.cpp will contain the main function. So we'll implement the definitions of these member functions from the next video onwards. So that's all about this video. Thanks for watching the video and please do subscribe.